South Carolina is where people are looking because it's supposed to be a crucial test of how candidates are going to do with black voters, Absolutely. Right? with these minority communities that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Can we talk a little bit and dissect who are these African American voters? You know, who is the black vote here in South Carolina? I think it's everybody. I yes, mean, it's yes. black men, it's black women, young, old, young professionals, older professionals, mm -hmm. faith leaders. Mm -hmm. uh, it's everybody. It's, you even, know. Even the blacks in our LGBTQ community, yeah, LGBTQ. they need a platform and a right. voice in, in this election. So I, it's not just one monolith. Like, right. it, if we could do a chart, mm -hmm. <laughs> like, right. lay this whole thing out. Right. Yeah. And, but I think that's, that's a good point where we come in to just advocate mm -hmm. and say, hey, no, an older black voter, um, women, woman voter that goes to church is different from a young millennial yeah. that right. goes to church or just really talk about that. Right. And also, I really want to make sure we lift the, the black LGBTQ community right. because they often get lost in the whole right. shuffle of the black vote. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. the black LGBTQ community as well as um, black people of color, I mean, black people with disabilities. Correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Correct. Mm -hmm. um, because in just putting my public transportation hat back on access. Mm -hmm. You know, and just I know a lot of um, people with disabilities who are black who are experiencing, you know, access um, problems way more than a person of, you know, mm -hmm. another ability. Mm -hmm. So, and I want to say too, like mm -hmm. just rural communities, I know Crystal mm -hmm. mentioned black men, I um, mean, just even entrepreneurs and things like that. Right. One mm -hmm. thing that's funny is, um, of course, we have our candidates come down here and surrogates come down on behalf of candidates. And in my head, I'm like, oh, we're going to a rural area. And we took a surrogate there, and he was like, oh, this isn't bad. I'm like, well, what do you think? <laughs> what do you think it was going to happen? And they thought rural means, like, poor. Rural means people have small houses. Like, no, these people just want their own land. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. 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 An acre or two acres. They right. have good jobs. They right. yes. work in certain places. Right. So, but so just like that, you know, people don't right. understand what we mean. What I mean by rural is, like, they might have one stoplight. But that doesn't mean these people are poor, right? Mm -hmm. So I think mm -hmm. that's one thing to take in consideration, because I do feel like that's a narrative. It's like, oh, if you're African-American, you mean you're low income. No, mm -hmm. we have a variety of folks that live here mm -hmm. in the state. Right. I think that's why it's a little bit harder just to put something in one you know, category of how we're going to reach those groups right. of people. 